Toy Story 4 hits theaters Friday, June 21st, 2019. To celebrate, we are going to make a room for our dolls. I made a printable cloud wallpaper that will be available on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. But first, we need walls. For this project, I am using foam board from the dollar store and cardboard. I start by drawing a 12 by 15 inch rectangle. Cut it out, repeat to make two, then I cut a 12 by 12 inch square. Take one of the 12 by 15 inch rectangles, cover it with a wood grain scrapbook paper, using a glue stick to glue on the paper. Since we're using cardboard, I like to start by going around the edges first to clean them up, then fill in the top. To make the floor, the other two pieces of cardboard we are going to use for the walls. One side is brown and the other side is white. We are going to put our wallpaper on the white side so hopefully the color stays true. Cut the border off the printable wallpaper where needed. Line up the cardboard, then glue down the paper right over the seam. Use white paper to cover the lower half. This gives our corner a really clean look. Draw and cut out windows, cover the edges with white paper, cut clear plastic from packaging, glue them onto the back of the openings, cut strips of foam board, and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Glue the strips around the windows, add a piece going across the window, glue a piece of foam board standing straight up, then another small piece underneath to give the window a ledge. Take poster board or cardstock, cut it into thin strips, glue them around the bottom of the wall. To make paneling on the wall, glue in the floor, cut half inch strips of foam board and glue them around the bottom and top of the paneling to make our corner room. Now let's decorate. We are going to make this room for Jade's little brother. So we will need a crib. To make the crib, we are using square wooden dowels, jumbo craft sticks, and skinny sticks. I start by cutting the square wooden dowels to five and a half inches. Sand any rough edges, cut a thinner wooden dowel into six inch pieces. We will need four of those. Cut another one into four inch pieces. We will need four of those as well. So we have four five and a half large pieces, then four six inch, then four four inch. Take two of the five and a half inch pieces, glue a six inch piece going across, two inches from the bottom. Repeat to make two, add another one going straight across at the end. Take the four inch pieces and glue them two inches from the top at a perpendicular angle on both ends. Glue on the other piece so they are connected, then add the last four inch pieces on the sides. Cut skinny sticks to glue between the wooden dowels. I place a jumbo craft stick in the middle on the sides, then continued with the skinny sticks. Glue wooden beads to the corners. Use acrylic paint to paint it one color. Cut cardboard, cover it with felt and fabric wrapping it like a present so all of the edges are folded. Use glue to secure in place. Once the wood is dry, glue the covered cardboard on top for the mattress, creating two beds in one. Right now it is a toddler bed. Add covers and a pillow to make it comfy for little Jeremy. Or flip it over, place the pillow in a corner, take the covers, Stitch a white line going around the inside. I added ribbon to make it thicker. Lay it on the floor for a rug in the room. I cut a small piece of fleece to use as a blanket for the crib. For baby Jeremy. So now we can change the room as Jeremy gets older without having to make new furniture. Use leftover foam board to cut out rectangles. Glue them together, making a tray where the top and bottom pieces are longer than the sides. To make a tray that when you stand it up, the top and bottom pieces are a little longer. Glue foam board onto the front to look like drawers to make a dresser for the room. Cut foam board 
Cover with red paper, glue it to the wall for shelves, where we can display our Toy Story 4 Minnie's blind bag collection. We found these at Walmart, and they are the perfect size toys for dolls. I have a few doubles, so we're gonna glue those. Cut out the Toy Story 4 logo from a doll box, glue it onto the wall for a poster. Use a Roblox box as a toy box to hold extra toys. From the world's smallest surprise boxes, we have a few army men that are perfect for this room. I am also going to add our world's smallest school bus because it just goes. A homemade poster and Jeremy's name spelled out in foam letters. To complete our Toy Story inspired room. Thank you for joining us while we made baby Jeremy a new room that can convert into a new room for when he gets older. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! to give a shout out to OV Walls 22. What's up? Wow, Jeremy, you sure do have a lot of toys. I love the pretty pony. I'll have to add you to my pony collection later because mom says it's time for you to have lunch. Wait a minute, where did the pony go? <laughs>